New processes added to the BTL import into AlphaCam are Notch Rabbit, House and House Mortis, Dovetail Tenon, Dovetail Mortis, Part Marking and planing. Some of these processes do not require machining but by the fact that we can now read them in it means when the BTL file is read into AlphaCam errors don't arise. I'm now going to pass to my colleague Paul Green who's going to give you a demonstration. I'm now going to take you through the process of uh, reading in a BTL file. This is a building format that will allow us to process many parts in, this, in a structure and then we can process them through AlphaCam after extracting geometries and then applying the machining. So the first thing we need to do is create the AlphaCam drawings. So I'll do this and then I will obviously need to browse for my BTL file. I can right click on this file because I have the viewer installed and actually look at the, the assembled BTL file, file itself. This allows me to see the structure that I'm going to bring into AlphaCam and we'll see AlphaCam replicate this too later. And we can even look at the individual parts and just see a little bit more about them. So I'll continue now and open this file in AlphaCam. AlphaCam will now see will process the parts. So what this is doing is it's identifying all the BTL processes and then creating geometries accordingly. That is the BTL file process. That's now created all the individual AlphaCam drawings. We can now actually assemble those and see what the actual structure looks like. So I look at my output folder and now we see we get exactly the same as we've seen in the BTL file viewer except this time we have all of our geometries ready for machining. I'm now going to use my setup in CAD to CAM to actually process these parts so I can batch process them rather than having to machine each one individually. So if I go into style layer processing and I give my job a name okay I have my machining styles and set up to the layers accordingly I'm going to go to the part files, I'm just going to clear the current part file list and make sure I bring in the very latest files that I've converted. CAD to CAM allows us to batch select these so I can bring all the files in in one go. I'll just, just wait for those to import. Okay, Once they're imported we can then obviously go to the next process. So style layer processing is now analyzing these parts. Okay, once that's complete, I need to enter a thickness. I'm just going to enter a large thickness because we're processing parts of all different variant thicknesses, so I'm not going to be concerned for CAD to CAM to be checking part thicknesses for me. I'm going to process these parts. I'm not going to use any reports at this stage. I'm not going to want any final Z tolerance checks. Once again, I'm putting a large value in there. I'm happy with that, and now CAD to CAM is now processing these parts, applying all the machining styles, now putting the NC code for us. That's now our process through BTL import and export of the NC code from the CAD to CAM. If I now just go and open up my results folder, go to my BTL output and I can look at the part drawings and we can see here we have all of our individual drawings, all the codes being output as well. If I just open up one that we actually looked at in the browser we can see we have our saw cuts and we have our machining of all the features.